breakdown level one. Eighth fret. So sliding from eight, eighth fret to ninth fret here of the G string to striking it and, and sliding up. Then eighth fret to ninth, eighth fret to tenth fret here for the B string. Nice major phrase there. Still looking at the blues scale for me, you know, just 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 adding the third basically to your blues scale. Next time, go up to the thirteenth fret, B string. Simple phrases, really powerful though. Slide, next phrase is sliding up here as it changes over to the F9 chord, sliding up to the 13th fret of the E string. Slight bend on the 11th. One more time. And just a half bend there to, to, to give it some breath here. Then you same thing right here in the lower octave. But then we go to the major third. Your 10th fret of the G string and anchoring off this C note. Back to the C note, then hammering on to the major third. Real common in the blues, use it all the time. Then when it goes to the G9, sliding up from the 10th to 12th fret of the G string. So that, you know, sliding up to the G note here, then, then, then hitting the G again, hitting the G, hammering on and pulling off back to the G. and hitting this in the 15th fret of the D string here, this F note. Sliding up here, same phrase, up another octave. So the 13th to 15th to 18th fret. One more time. There's a lot of different ways to play that little phrase that wraps it up. And I just did a little half bend there at the end too to wrap that phrase up. Really looking at the, the C minor pentatonic here. Just knowing where these the root notes are though, right here, 17th fret. Then landing on that C. All right, let's break down level two. Definitely a little more advanced with some of the, the phrases. Also, as you get into intermediate to advanced, you are you should be using a lot more dynamics, a lot more attack and feeling on the strings because you have a lot more confidence. Same phrase to start with. And I slide up real quick and release it. And I really hit it with some vibrato in that intro. Then doing that same thing. Then we go up to a major. S hitting the G and sliding up to the 14th fret. One more 
more time. Sliding back to C here. 13th fret of the B strings. 14th fret G string. Really, really good phrase. It really outlines the F chord because you're you're at F9 now. This little there's F chord is right here. The bar chord is right here, which I rarely would play it that way. Just really outlining the F9 chord a little bit, or part, part of it anyway. Then right back to the, the blue scale here on the next phrase, because you're back to C7. Full bend here, starting 11th fret, but you're bending up to the C note. Hitting the C note here, pulling or sliding down from 11 to 10 of the G string. Half bend. Really good phrase to use all, all over blues and rock. And any of this stuff I'm showing, if you just get one phrase out of this whole lesson, it's, it is worth it because that's a lot of what I do if I'm watching a good player. I'm going to grab a phrase and really try to put it into my playing. Then, as it, I'm, I'm on the C note now, then I'm using some double stops where we really had it simplified in, in level one. C, hit, hitting both of these notes here in the 10th fret of the G and the B string, rocking back and forth. I do that a lot, and, and I'm actually plucking up on these. You can definitely do it with your pick. Then hammering on when you bar over here in the 8th fret. But just hammering that one note on that major third again for the C, because you're still in C here. Now when I go to this, this slide like I did in level one here, then I, then I bend three different times. This is really good rock and blues phrase here. So, G note here, 15th fret. So you're, you're hitting the G note, striking it like I showed you in level one and, and just pulling back off to the G. Using that same little phrase there, but then ending it because you're back to C. When you get some speed to that, that's when it, that's when it really sounds good. And ending the whole little solo here because you're going back to C. Major third again, that E note. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a blast doing this lesson. I, I, loved, I loved doing this. Even the simplified versions, you just put some feeling into the notes that you know and, and you'll have a lot of fun with this instrument. Thanks again and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.